So here's a review of the Lions freestanding kick bag, which I'm using here. Just a little test to see how it works. This is the, the model that I have, 167 centimeters tall. There's others similar to it, like these Gallant ones. They're all very similar, and I'm going to show you what you get and how to build it and what it's like. So first of all, this is what you get. You get the base and the red part on it is for filling up the base. I've already put the suckers on there, so you have to screw these together. They're very easy. I probably won't use the suckers. That's the bag itself, which is reasonably heavy. And with it, you get the screws there on the left and the small spanner, which you need to tighten the screws up. So first of all, we need to get it on there get it all lined up. It's reasonably easy to do. And once you get a couple of screws in there, the rest will go in quite easily with a little bit of moving around. So on the base there, a lot of reviews say not to use water. I would agree not to use water. It will fall out of that red stopper if it turns over, if you kick it over. It also slushes around and the bag moves around as well, so what I'm using is dry sand. Um, wet sand won't be any good, you won't get the wet sand in the hole and you won't get it back out again. So right now I'm just uh, hand tightening up the screws. So see, it does take a little bit of moving around to, to line the holes up when all the screws are in. We then look at tightening up. Now, that spanner's quite small, but to be honest, it's probably tight enough. You can get it tight enough. I, I wouldn't want to put a big wrench in there, on there and strip the threads or pull the inserts out of the, the plastic base. So that spanner is more than tight enough, and that comes with the kit. Now, I'm not going to use the suckers. I'm just m mounting this onto that platform and as you see there's nothing in it right now a little bit of effort and it just falls over I mean you do need to get the base filled so wet sand is no good because you can't see it coming through the filter through the funnel you need the funnel or something similar to get the sand in there I let the sand dry for a little while just building sand I'll try the funnel test again and you can see it just runs through no problem and that's what you need to fill up. I used a jug actually but that's why you need dry sand and if you need to get it back out of there again <laughs> you're going to wish you put dry sand in there trust me. So I have a cover down at the under the base just to stop sand going all over the place. You see I'm just using a water jug you know and the sand just kind of pours in effortlessly. I mean, it's, it's very easy to do. It takes a little bit of time, you know, 10 minutes or so, and about three bags of sand. Uh, to, the base is heavy, you, trust me. That's why I'm not actually using the suckers. The suckers work well, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't need them on the floor that I have. And we'll give this a test out after I've got it filled in with sand. And I would recommend this as a great form of exercise, this bag, for, for any age. It's really good. Well worth the money. I see I'm a little bit older than, than many, but if you're a, a young, super fit, professional martial artist, you might need something tougher than this. I think someone really good could destroy it. But one thing I did notice that you do get some dents at the side there. So if you do hit it, it seems to dent. If you hit it further down, the dents seem to pop back out again. I don't think it's a big problem. And I think it's just fine. And that's about it. So it's a good big piece of fitness for anyone, any age. It's really good fun, good for the stamina. I'm enjoying it. It's brilliant. And that's it.